What's going on guys? Uh, just for a heads up, my audio or mic still is a little shitty. Um, I apologize for this. I uh, tried switching back to my old headset to somewhat resolve a little bit of the issue and it, this really picks up the heavy breathing. Um, yeah, that was some fucked up heavy breathing. Just for a heads up. But bear with me. Um, yeah, hopefully I got, I'll, I'll be getting something new here soon. Uh, hopefully I can actually get a good headset. That would be a miracle. But anyway, I won't keep you. The video starts right now, so bear with me. Until then, take it easy. What's going on guys? Today... We have some some stuff, some some uh, some interesting stuff. That's all I gotta say for that. Um, basically, two updates. Okay, uh, right now I'm downloading Titanfall 2 the beta, and hopefully I can play it. If not, I'm going to just play No Man's Sky later on today. Uh, I'm gonna either or. I'm going to broadcast the uh, gameplay on the Twitch so go ahead and check out my Twitch channel it's the same name as my YouTube channel uh, only difference is it has a Call of Duty Black Ops 3 logo and stuff like that so but um, that's just one update uh, there was another update but I forgot what it was Oh well, it must not have been that important. But today, we are going to see on how to properly open, or a uh, easy way to open, the Bail Song Knife slash Butterfly Knife. Now, I will put this warning out right now. This is not a toy. Use it professionally, meaning don't go out saying, oh, I got a butterfly knife, what up, sucker? No, don't be doing that. Okay. Um, this is just an, for other knife collectors or people that want to get into the movement on how to open and how to close our This is that video. This isn't to bring harm to someone. This isn't to provoke anything. This is to make yourself more knowledgeable on how to properly or like I said before easily open a butterfly knife for uh, beginners because I will admit I am not a expert on how to open one. I just know one e well actually two easy moves on how to open and close them. Uh, the first one, I will do the easiest, and I actually don't use it that much, but the butterfly knife that I have here, there are two sides. There's the sharp side, where the bl the cutting blade is, right here, and that is facing this little gold button, uh, right there. And then there's the dull side, which you want to be holding onto when you do the moves. So... You hold on to it, this is the easiest one, you open it, hold it like this, open your fingers, catch. That's it. Now if you want to close it, spin it around, till, so this doll side here is up, and catch. Now I will say this. When you do it, make sure your fingers are out of the guard, because if they're in the guard, you ain't going to have any luck. So, you want to have them open so you can close it. Now, the second trick or move that I always do and use when I go to just play around with my butterfly knife in my lonely little room and all that crap is the fast pace normal move. 
basically. Um, once again, you hold it on the side where that little button is, or the side that, if it doesn't have the button, it has the doll's back side of the blade. You hold it like that, you flip it open to where the other black part hits your knuckles or your fingers. You spin it around with your fingers that you're holding the protect the actual side you're supposed to be holding onto. Flip it so the blade hits your fingers. Spin it around again. Voila. Now to open it, and I actually showed you the close, you do that. Wait, hold on. You do that, spin it, and you catch. So, once again, I know that was fast, but that's how you do it. You do it till your knuckles hit the other side, spin, catch. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? But it does take practice to do. Um, this one I have, I got from a sportsman show. Here in PA, there's actually, uh, well, where I'm at, the city I'm at, and I'm going to not say that due to privacy leak and all that crap. Um, even though I really don't give two shits, but, um, uh, a guy was selling these along with many other knives and many other swords, and it's a lot. Um, I thought, okay, there was security here, so, excuse me, it must be legal to where you can purchase this, because obviously they should know that he's selling these. Some states, these bail song knives or butterfly knives, however you want to say it, are illegal. If they are illegal in your state, I recommend you don't buy them. Because uh, the main reason why some states ban these knives or make them illegal to own is because a lot of people actually hurt themselves from trying to open and close them. And I can see that point because this is this can be very dangerous to try to open it. So if you're going to try to master a bail song knife, uh, they have beginner kits. They're wooden blades. They're not metal like this one is. So. Uh, yeah, that's probably the best way to go, but, um, for those that are interested on trying to learn a new move or beginners that are trying to actually get the hang of this, uh, that is how you do the butterfly knife, bail song knife, whatever the fuck you want to call it, I have no idea. But yeah, and uh, just for a heads up, this knife I have right now is dull as a butter knife. Like literally, it dull. Dull. None of my hair stripped, so it's dull as can be. The point it it still has a point on it which you can still use to stab, which I recommend not doing also, but, um, yeah. But I, uh, got this one because I was, I always liked the, how people came up with different moves on how to open and close them, and just the idea of trying to have, like, two separate handles to open a knife. I, I always thought that was kind of cool, and that is, you know, my family, they're into pocket knives, case knives, barlow knives, um, you name it, they're not even into swords or anything like that. I just like how 
it was made within the blade. I tried to not make that rhyme, but somehow it still did, so yeah. Uh, but, um, that is pretty much it for the Bale Song Knife. Um, that, um, I just remember that other update that I completely forgot about. It was the fact that my old headset that I am wearing now works better than the newer headset, the more expensive headset that, uh, is shit. Actually, it's right here. This good old headset that I used to wear. Um, see, I'm, I'm going to try to invest into a better headset, better than this. I'm actually going to try to get some beats that actually plug into the controller so I know for sure it works with the PS4. Uh, and stuff like that, so there's that, and uh, actually in the process of making this video, it showed that Titanfall has installed, whether or not it's the beta is still open is beyond me, because uh, Skylar, for those who watch my shit daily, um, Gara1300, or Gara1300, however the hell you say it, I fucking, once again, don't know. Um, he said that it is playable this past weekend, this past Sunday and Saturday, and uh, this upcoming Saturday and Sunday you can play, but they're going to stop it throughout the week. Makes no sense, but I have no idea. But if I, once again, if I cannot play it, or broadcast it, or any of that shit, I will go back to No Man's Sky and play some of it. A uh, couple things have happened on No Man's Sky. I've been playing off cam, uh, hyperdrive to a new system area. And uh, there's new planets there, and I think I've... if. It actually saved because last time I played it froze and while I was trying to save it but hopefully I can still see it and whatnot but uh, got a new gun it has more slots on it that's pretty much it uh, trying to rack up on the units and stuff like that and like always trying to get all the trophies because why the hell not so, um, I'm going to leave this video here. If you guys have enjoyed this small little tutorial on the Bale Song Knife, please leave a like and comment more on if you want to see more of this kind of stuff on different knives and stuff like that, or their review on stuff like that. And if you're new to the channel, and like video game gameplay and this little new addition that I'm slowly starting to get into uh, go ahead and subscribe and uh, turn notifications on so you are up to date on this channel and uh, as always any thing positive I see I get I look on my YouTube daily for new likes or new views or new subs or comments or anything like that anything I uh, take in a to a positive note because it shows me that someone is actually watching my stuff that I put a lot of time and effort into especially these pre-recorded videos that I edit and stuff like that but uh, this one I'm not really going to edit that much just because of this and not really going to worry with the intro and stuff like that because it just wastes time. But uh, other pre-recorded videos of gameplay, I'm probably going to have intro, outro, songs, stuff like that. But um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you have enjoyed, and as always, take it easy. See you guys.